This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, hello there, hello there. It's Jazz Cutter Dog and welcome you to another Sports Catastrophe birthday boy and the birthday boy for today. November 29th, 2021 is this man. He's a lifer for the Manchester United squad. He's 48 years old. He is the current manager of the Wales national team and a co-owner of Salford City. The Wales national team is fighting tooth and nail to get into the 2022 World Cup through a playoff. And they might have a chance. But anyhow, Giggs played his entire pro career for Man U. And was actually the interim manager when Man U sacked David Moyles, Moyles in April 2014. He is actually the son of a Wales International Rugby League player named Danny Wilson. Giggs was born in Cardiff, but moved to Manchester at the age of six because his father was playing for the rugby league team. He actually played for Man City and Man U and youth teams. He would make his professional debut for the club in 1991 and spent 23 years on the Man U squad. 23, can you believe it? He was named player manager in 2014 after David Moyes was sacked. He was actually an assistant manager under the permanent replacement Louis van Gaal in 2014. And he actually held the club record for most appearances, 963. That's like amazing. To play in like 30 games a year. Well, of course, you got all these competitions. So at international level, Ryan Giggs took Wales took on the Wales armband 64 times in his great career. And, of course, Wales has not... Unfortunately, Wales did not qualify for the World Cup in any of his time. They were close in 93 when they lost to Romania on the final day and cost themselves a trip to the World Cup in the U.S. He was named captain of the Great Britain team at the 2012 Summer Olympics. He's made lots of appearances and all that. At Man U, he won 13 Premier League titles as a player, more than any other player in history, four FA Cups, three League Cups, two Champions League, a FIFA Club World Cup, an Intercontinental Cup Winners' Cup, a Super Cup medal, nine FA Community Shield medals, and a Fire Trigger and a Fire Tree. Not really, but I like to say that. Anyway, the only, <laughs> the funny thing is the only English squad that had more titles than Ryan Giggs has himself in football history was is Liverpool. In all that. Giggs was just amazing. He was appointed at OBE in 2007. It's kind of like the Order of Canada. So anyway. Giggs would be offered a pro contract on his 17th birthday, November 29th. Oh, November 20, 1990. Man U won the FA Cup, saving Sir Alex Ferguson's job, which was almost taken away from him. And they were they were trying to get at the dominance of Liverpool and Arsenal. And they needed gigs to be left wing and all that. Giggs helped the 92 youth team win the FA Youth Cup and all of that called Fergie's Fledglings who were some players recruited by Man U under Sir Alex Ferguson's thing that actually helped Man U out in the fun end. Well, the 2000s too, but the 90s you got David Beckham, Wes Brown, Nicky Butt, Ryan Giggs, Gary Neville, Phil Neville, Robbie Savage, Paul Scholes, Ben Fornley. So, yeah. So, Giggs finally became United's first choice left winger, as in basically playing the starting lineup all these times and all that. He was a good winger and all that. And Giggs helped Manu win their first top division title in 26 years, since 1967, I guess. And that was the first year the Premier League came around. Giggs actually helped Man U win the League Cup final in 92 against Nottingham Forest. So 
a lot of people said that, you know, Ryan Giggs was a poster boy in a sense. So, of course, one of his most famous goals scored. He didn't score a lot, but when he scored, he scored. His goal of the season was in the FA Cup semifinal between Arsenal and Man U. He he picked up possession, ran from his own house, dribbled past the whole Arsenal back four, and took a left foot strike under the bar and past David Seaman. He famously whipped off his shirt during his goal, goal celebration and ran to his teammates. It actually became the last ever goal in the FA Cup semifinal we played because the FA Cup moved on in 2000 that semifinals would be decided in one game with extra time and penalty if required. So that's kind of weird. Ryan Giggs helped Man U win the 99 Champions League final, which had the treble, as in winning the league, the cup, the league cup, as in the FA Cup, and the major continental title, which was the Champions League, of course. Man U beat Palmeiras to win the Intercontinental Cup the next year. Giggs was still hitting all the high notes for Manchester United and all that. It was amazing what he did and all that. Trying to help Wales out and all that. Of course, you know. Wales was okay, but in the, the fact of the matter was that, you know, that's what happened. Anyway, Giggs was player coach, as I said. Well, he was player coach, not player manager, in 2013. But new manager David Moyes coming up for Sir Alex. Moyes was sacked after 10 months in the job. Giggs took over. Having two wins, a loss, and a tie in his in the final four games. Giggs was then made assistant manager to Louis Van Gaal when he was the replacement. And all that. Anyway, it was amazing. And all that. Giggs was suggested to be Louis Van Gaal's successor at Man U. Unfortunately, Jose Marino, Jose Marino was picked to coach Man U to be the manager in 2016. Giggs decided to depart from the team. And then he got made manager of the Wales team in 2018, helping Wales qualify for Euro 2020 and all that. So, a big, a big job for Wales. I can't remember how Wales did at Euro 2020. I have to take a look. So, yeah, for Wales, because I know Wales was in this. Oh, wait, weren't they in the same group as England? I don't think so. No, they were in Group A. With Italy, Wales... I mean, Italy, Switzerland, Turkey. Wales was 1-1-1, one, 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 but they took second place, which was good enough. On goal to retro, Wales beat Switzerland for second and automatically got him into the Sweet 16. And then Wales got their butts handed to them by Denmark, of all teams. Ryan Giggs, his discipline was amazing. He was never sent off. When he played his 24 years with Man U, never sent off. He was... He was sent off playing for Wales in a World Cup qualifier against Norway in 2001, getting a second yellow card. Anyway, it was amazing. Uh, Ryan Giggs was just lucrative, having the lucrative deals before Beckham came on the scene. Giggs actually was on the cover of FIFA 2003, alongside Edward Ruiz and Roberto Carlos, so great job for him. Giggs married his longtime partner in 2007, having two children. Unfortunately, they were divorced in 2017. 
And weird was that Giggs actually conducted an eight-year affair with his brother's wife. Are you kidding me? Jeez. So, anyway. Doesn't really matter and all of that. Gix was accused of being of assault a couple of times, but nothing's been proven. So yeah, so great job for the for Ryan Gix. All those Premier Leagues, four FA Cups, 94, 96, 99, 2004. Premier Leagues, too much to talk about. Football League Cup, 92, 06, and 09. Community Shield, nine times. Champions League, 99 and 08. The Super Cup in 91. The Intercontinental Cup in 99 and the Club World Cup in 2008. I mean, the guy freaking had a lot of things. He was actually named Best Player of the Premier League in their first 20 years from 93 to 2012. It's just amazing. And he only played for one club in his career. That's amazing. All that. He has many records. Has won 13 division, top division of English League titles as a player. Uh, most Premier League appearances for a player. It was actually surprised by Gareth Barry. Gareth Barry, I don't remember him being that big. He played 653 games for Aston, Villa, Man City, Everton, and West Ham. Hmm. Most Premier League assists, 162. Only player to play in 22 straight Premier League seasons. Only player to have scored in 17 different Champions League tournaments, including 11 consecutive. All that. Most appearances by Manu player. Most starts by Manu player. First player to score 100 Premier League goals by Manu. Second midfielder to score 100 goals in the Premier League for a single club. Matt Letizia has been the other one. Oldest player to score in the Champions League when he did against Benfica in 2011. Man, that's just amazing. It's like, what the heck is this guy? What can't this guy do? Probably give Wales a World Cup title. I know that's harsh, but that's the way I go. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.